City of Ann Arbor making it more expensive to commit a parking violation, but will five bucks make a real difference? We sent Steve Garagiola to find out why city leaders decided to make the change and what people think of it. Folks here in Ann Arbor will tell you there are two great challenges that need to be solved. Number one, beating Ohio State in football. And number two, parking. The city hopes a new plan will help solve one of those. The city can't do much to help coach Harbaugh, but they hope the increased fine for parking meter violations will free up more street parking. I rarely find a street spot. This is like, this is literally the first time I've ever parked on the street. The problem is people tie up street spaces for eight or nine hours while they go to work and don't bother putting money in the meter. Your fine should be higher than your cost of obeying the law. The discounted fine for an expired street meter will go from $10 to $15. To understand the thinking behind this change, you have to do a little bit of math. If street parking in Ann Arbor costs $1.70 per hour and you park for eight hours, that's $13.60. The fine for not paying was $10. So the smart thing to do was take the ticket. And sometimes that's absolutely correct, but uh, it's, it's cheaper for me to do it than probably the street parking. Starting August 1st, there is no longer an advantage for long-term parking to skip the meter and pay the fine. We will know we're successful if our parking violations go down. Right, if people are feeding the meters rather than taking the ticket, that's success. So the hope is that come September and the football season, this will help ease the street parking crunch in downtown Ann Arbor. And as far as that Ohio State thing, Coach, I got nothing to help you out here, man. It's all you. Jason, Karen, back to you. <laughs> all right, we appreciate it. Thank you, Steve.